Uh, 100 years ago, they could be found in homes and parlors all across the state. The popularity of the pump organ died off, but for a Wabashaw County man, they may just be the future. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us why Ron Manzo collects and repairs these musical treasures. Small town is where people know you when you go into a store and you feel comfortable here. Ron Manzo has spent most of his life in Plainview, Minnesota. He taught third grade for decades before retiring. But you could say his home is still full of history lessons. Your collection got so big that you actually bought a second home to store the rest of your organs in. Right, mm -hmm. and it just happened to be next door, so that worked out well. Between the house he sleeps in and the one next door, Ron has 75 pump organs on display. It's a hobby that began when he was a teenager. This is the one that we found in an abandoned log house that had been vandalized, and we found the owner and paid $10 for it. He got hooked on the music, the craftsmanship, and the fact that these organs operated without electricity. Before the internet, he bought them at antique stores or found them in newspaper ads. Now he goes online. And like a do-it-yourself auto mechanic. This is a 1921 organ. He's a do-it-yourself organ repairman. People even know about his hobby and are more than happy to donate their musical relics. Ron naturally calls those people organ donors. To be truthful, it's kind of like the people that are in pet rescue and they see a pet and they just got to rescue it. That's the way I feel when I walk into an antique shop and I see an organ there that's neglected and I think, oh gee, I could really make that nice. His tour takes visitors back to a time when this type of music was the epicenter of entertainment. Pump organs hit their peak in the late 1800s. They began dying off during the Great Depression. This is your oldest one. Yes, this is from the Civil War era. Ron even has one in his bathroom, and he had to make a map in his garage so he can find where all his future fixer-uppers are located. The feedback you get from people, what's that like? What do they say to you? Well, a lot of people think I'm crazy. My sisters just roll their eyes when I say, guess what I got the other day? Do it again. This one here? Yeah. But part of this is to prove that families once lived without iPhones, iPads, and social media. They were perfectly happy pulling out all the stops and letting the good times roll. This is the one song I know. In a way, Ron's hoping his collection gets people to change their tune. It was a central point to bring people together, and it still can be that today. How about that? That's perfect. In Wabasha County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Who knew, the, who knew John Lordson could play? The one song he knew, but uh, impressive. Who knew a man had to have an extra house just I know, to for the, keep, keep all of his organs his in there? His organs in there, yeah. Uh, Ross, part of a national society of collectors called the Reed Organ Society. And New Zealand is also a hotbed for collectors, and they still manufacture pump organs in India. For more information on how you can tour Ron's collection, visit WCCO.com links.